Hey, what is up guys? Today, I'm going to be giving you guys my top albums that I've been listening to for the year, NBA edition. Now, the way that this is going to work is that if you're a fan of sports, I'm pretty sure you know that every year, leagues will hold certain events known as awards to basically highlight certain player categories or accomplishments. And just like how the NBA will give out awards for MVP, most improved, rookie of the year, and more. We're gonna be doing the same thing, basically. So before we get any further, I just want you guys to know that these picks are solely based off of what I've been listening to myself to during all 2020. But you know, I'd love to get your own opinions and list of artists that you've been listening to. So feel free to drop a comment and just leave your own thoughts below. And lastly, come through and subscribe as you know, I not only want to make videos to give my own thoughts, but I also want to hear and interact and get different perspectives from you guys. So that would be appreciated. And with that being said, let's just jump right in. All right. So to start this list off, we have sixth man of the year and we're going to be giving it to Jude because you know, just like how in basketball, how, you know, the sixth man is like the player who comes off the bench and they're giving life to the first unit. And, you know, they're kind of like a spark plug in that they're extremely reliable, they're consistent and whatnot. Uh, Jude's basically the same way. He's someone you can consistently go back to and listen to when your music is kind of drying up and you're looking for some variety. And, you know, with the momentum he carried into 2020, he dropped, you know, the Nightmares to Daydream album at the end of the 2019. And, you know, he kept that momentum going all year long. He dropped a few EPs, including Haven't Slept, which is probably one of my favorite ones, When I'm Alone, Trip to Michigan, and a bunch of singles and more. But yeah, just fine. You know, he's, you know, he's not hit and miss. He's pretty consistent. And uh, yeah, that's my pick for six man. All right. So most improved player. Now, usually this award goes to someone who's made noticeable to big improvements in their own craft. And I feel like this award would most likely go to Byron Jawan just because uh, me personally, I slept on this man, especially his hopeful soul EP. In previous years, I didn't really touch it, but earlier on during the year when I was just looking for something to listen to because I didn't really have anything, I gave it a full listen and it was it was great. I enjoyed it. And also he dropped a single with Danielle Abakella called Afraid and that was pretty fire. He also dropped a few other singles as well, but in each one I just found he made huge strides. So that was great to see. And also this was really noticeable in his last EP. It's called Promise I'm Not Crazy. He dropped it back in October. And that's probably one of the best pieces of work I've heard all year. And it was just well-rounded overall. So he definitely deserves it. Most improved goes to Byron Juwan. All right, now coach of the year. Now, usually coaches are very directive. They are organized personnel in that they're very vocal and expressive about what they need done. But not only that, but they're also there to individually build you up. They're not just looking out for themselves because they just want to see you win. They want to nurture you and develop you. And to me, one artist in particular that embodies that is Ruslan. And especially this year, you know, he's been a pretty consistent voice, especially in, in the CHH community in terms of providing feedback for artists and giving insight to fans on certain things and topics and he he covers a, a variety of topics not just you know music but he everything from politics to entrepreneurship he just covers everything from the perspective of a christian and you know his work is definitely a true testament to what he's done just because people see value in it and he's been giving back so much that his channel's grown by especially a lot in the past few months i believe he's at 40,000 subscribers but not only that, he's not just a YouTube personnel, but as well, he has been dropping music fairly regularly, especially as of recent. He's always on top of the ball and he's always just giving back good content to artists and fans and just the community in general. So I would definitely give the award to Ruslan. All right, now Rookie of the Year. Now, usually this award goes to someone who is young and upcoming. And for me, someone this year who has taken that award is Halvey. And Halvey, he signed to reach records at the top of the year. And he had taken his momentum from the previous year into this year and into his Broken Heart EP and Prelude EP. And he's just been dropping consistent features and singles all year. He dropped his other side single not too long ago. And he's just a great presence for young artists in the space. And I believe he just embodies Reach's brand for what they want and their future. He's my pick for Rookie of the Year. All right, now Defensive Player of the Year. Now, usually this award goes to someone who is always giving their best effort 
they're covering everything on defense they are like a pest on defense and they're always consistent with their effort night in and night out and this award for me would go to joey Vazquez. and obviously this is what i'm going to say i am definitely not saying that he is the hardest working artist and everybody else is just not working hard at all that's ridiculous every artist whether they're upcoming or at the top they're working 24 7 but for me joey is consistent in the sense of that and that this year alone i can't find another artist that's dropped nearly four eps two albums and several singles and features and in addition he was actually going to drop another ep last friday but i guess he moved it to january but for me when your favorite artist is doing that that's really hard to not ignore because every time he dropped music literally it almost felt like he dropped it just last week and when you look at what he's dropped throughout the year they're almost months apart and it's just been crazy with the amount of music he's put out but yeah i definitely would give defensive player of the year to joey vantes all right now before we get into the mvp award i am quickly going to throw in a quick award of my own and that is the upcoming artist award now this award is going to go to a rap duo called lundy now these guys have only dropped two songs but their latest song for me has just blown up out of nowhere and they are very talented once you listen to them for the first time and their music video for their last song just dropped on rapzilla so i would definitely go check it out and give it a listen but these guys within the next year are definitely going to blow up so i would definitely check it out all right now the last award the mvp award now usually this goes to someone who dominates and they're in the conversation as the best player in the league and for me someone who deserved it in this case for music would be Gabi. Now his Heathen album topped the Billboard charts in the Christian category with his main song Not Too Far staying at number one for quite a while and his album also got nominated for Rap Hip Hop Album of the Year at the Dove Awards as his album is really just complete I find. Every song just fits the theme that he was aiming for and there's really almost no flaws in his album, I'd say. Arguably, it's hard to find an album that topped Gavi's Heathen album off. But yeah, I'd say it's a complete album and he is deserving of the MVP award. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. There's so many artists that I want to throw in, but there's so many good ones to choose from. Plus, this is just my own list. It's not an objective list. And, you know, I'd love to know your list of artists that you listen to this year. So let me know your thoughts below in the comments and thanks for watching.